Hi guys! Hi! We are Sarah, Cedric and Pablo from Coordinotes and we'd like to show you our self-converted van Lewis. Lewis is a Mercedes Sprinter L3H2. We wanted to have plenty of space inside the van so that's why we chose for an L3 and because we both are quiet tall people and it was very important for us to be able to stand up straight inside the van um, we chose for the H2. So we bought Lewis in 2020. Yeah, 2020. And then um, we started renovating uh, Lewis. We put the bath inside, the kitchen inside, uh, and then we went on a road trip to Germany, Austria, Italy. and France. Uh, but then we noticed that there was something missing inside the van, uh, and we wanted to upgrade, do a little upgrade actually. And then in 20. 2022 uh, we changed a few things like the bed uh, so we can put it uh, up we changed the, uh, the toilet so now the toilet is in here we also put up the solar panels we also installed the diesel heater because before I was always cold it's actually for me the diesel heater <laughs> But it's a really nice feature in the van. Uh, and then the most important feature I think we installed in the van is the Seamarine uh, Pico, the, Pico yes. the monitor on the bed, um, because we can actually control everything in the van, like the, the battery status, uh, how much the solar panels are charging, but also the water, like I told, uh, the sensor of the gray water tank, but also our clean water tank has the same sensor, so we can always see how much water we have left and it will also warn us when we don't have enough water anymore. Before it was for small trips and now the van is ready to live in it full time. <laughs> I'll first show you our kitchen. Uh, so here we have our sink and this is our tap. We have a pull-out tap um, because it's really easy to do the dishes but also to clean the sink after we've done the dishes. We only have uh, cold water in front because we didn't want to install too many um, heating systems inside the van for safety. But we do have a gas hob with two gas pits and the gas is coming from uh, the back. The gas tank is in our garage and then on our gas hob we have a big gas pit and a smaller gas pit to cook some bigger things and some smaller things. Underneath our sink we have our grey water tank. It's a 25 liter water tank and we have installed a sensor that will tell us how much water there is inside and it will also give us an alarm uh, when there is too much water in it and we have to empty it. And therefore we can attach a hose to this tap. So we just attach the hose and then we can let the water run out of the tank. So it's really easy to empty the tank. And all the rest of the stuff inside this cabinet is to clean the fan. This drawer is uh, the drawer for our pots and pans. And we also have an oven to make pizza or anything else you want to make in an oven. And the rollers of these drawers, of these drawers are um, especially made, they will stay close by themselves. So while we drive, the, they will stay close. Then this drawer is for our plates. And we also have a coffee pot. So it's really important to have something to make coffee in a van when you love coffee. And this drawer is for our cutlery. So we have an organizer that will make sure that our cutlery stays in place while we drive. And then our last drawer is for all the rest of our kitchen utensils. So this is an organizer for our spices and this is all other stuff we can use in the kitchen. And then under this drawer we have our fridge. It's an 84 liter fridge. Uh, it's quite a big fridge but it's because we are two people so we thought we need a lot of space to store our food. And then here we have a little freezer for like ice cubes or anything else you put in a freezer. So our first um, overhead cabinet is actually our bathroom. So we have a mirror inside and then we have two baskets with our toothbrushes, deodorant and all other things for the bathroom. Our next overhead cabinet is where we store our glasses. So we have wine glasses, we have uh, water glasses, but it's all made of plastic. Uh, and then we have two cups for 
coffee and this is our coffee storage and then all other four overhead cabinets are for our clothes so we use those packing cubes normally uh, so we can organize our clothes inside these overhead cabinets so we have plenty of space for our clothes so here in front we have removed the original partition because we wanted to make the space feel bigger but in belgium you are not allowed to go from the front to the back it's something with insurance so we close off the space with this cabinet um, but we can also close um, the space with our curtains um, to keep the light out but also for our privacy then this cabinet um, we made a top shelf where we can put some things inside and then in the cabinet this upper part is for Pablo his treats his jackets are here and then here we can store our shoes and then on the other side here we have our trash bins so we have two trash bins if we want to recycle and here are some other stuff for the kitchen like foldable um, storage boxes and also this is a shelf for stuff for Pablo and then underneath the cabinet we have those two black things and those are actually the outlets of our diesel heater uh, our diesel heater is in front in the passenger seat inside the front seats we have a first aid kit and then these things are isolation uh, for the front window so we can close everything off and then inside this seat we have our diesel heater so we don't have an air conditioning but we do have a heater um, it's a Chinese heater and it goes the, the outlet is actually on the bottom of the fan with the dirty air and then here in front we have the outlets with the warm air coming out and it's it gets really warm pretty fast so we really like this uh, heater and then up here we have the monitor so we can uh, handle the temperature and turn it on and off very easily this cabinet is our toilet so we can open up the top and then we can open up the front open the toilet and then you can sit down and reach the toilet paper and we have spare toilet paper and all the chemical uh, fluids that we have to put inside the toilet are also in this cabinet. Then in our living space we have our seats and we can open them so we have more storage space. And on the left side we have Pablo's litter box and on the right side uh, we usually store our drinks. On the other side in the, in the seat we usually store our food and we use those baskets to organize our food so if we need to have something from underneath we can just take one out and take it from the other box and then we also have these switches inside the seat um, so we can separately turn off our water our fridge um, and the heater in front um, to save some battery then here we have our slide out table we think it's a really nice feature in our van because we save a lot of space inside the van because we can just put our table away. And behind the table there is a magnet that will keep the, the table in place while we drive. So if we have to break really hard the table will stay inside the bed. And then this cabinet underneath the table is more storage space. We put our games in there, our blankets and all other stuff where we don't have a, a special place for. Uh, we've chosen for a fixed bed uh, because in this way you have plenty of storage space underneath your bed um, because if you take a foldable bed um, you, you lose a lot of space in the van um, but also because we didn't want to make our bed every morning and every evening again. Uh, our bed is 190 on 140 uh, 140 was more than enough so we decided to make some more uh, cabinets next to the bed and in here we can put our underwear but also our camera gear or whatever we want and then this little screen is actually our monitor um, this monitor can tell us how much battery there is left but also how much the solar panels are charging how much water there is left how much water there is in the great tank and this is also the thing what, that will give us the alarms but we can actually like control everything with this monitor in our ceiling we have installed eight LED lights um, because you're living in a close-up space so it's really important to have plenty of light inside but it's not the most cozy light so we also so we installed these LED strips underneath the cabinets so that's the more cozy light for in the evening 
And then we also installed our uh, Fiamma air fan, uh, which is also a really nice feature because uh, with this fan we can kind of control the temperature inside the fan. So it has a thermostat and we can choose on which temperature it turns on or turn off. And we can also choose to blow the air outside the fan, but also inside the fan. Um, inside the van will make it colder and when it blows outside the van it's really handy while we cook that it will take like the smoke and all the smells from cooking outside the van so we really think it's important to have a fan inside your van so this is the back of our van um, also here we have these uh, curtains to keep the light out but also for our privacy and then behind those doors we have our garage so we can store all things that we don't need in the van but like our table our chairs for outside are usually here and we use those kind of uh, boxes to organize everything in our garage and then here we have the things that we can easily uh, fill up our clean water tank so we can attach a hose to it and fill the water tank that is behind this wall so our clean water tank is behind this wall we can open this and here are those blocks that we can use to level our van when we are parked. This thing is our outdoor shower. So it's actually a portable heater that you can take outside the van. And then our shower is up here on the door. So we can always take a shower outside with hot water. Back inside the van, we have more storage space behind this door. So here are our longboards at the moment, but we can put whatever we want up there. We wanted to use every single centimeter inside the van for storage space. This is our uh, gas tank, as I mentioned before, for our gas hop in front in the kitchen. And we also have a gas detector. I think it's really important to have a gas detector in case you have a leakage. And then on this side, we have all our electrical supplies. So we have three batteries of each uh, 140 m and then on top of the van we have two solar panels of um, in total 310 watts so we can actually stand off grid for like forever forever <laughs> yes forever so yes this is where all electrical supplies are and then we have one more thing it's our main switch that we can actually uh, turn off everything of the electricity just in case of emergency and then we have one more feature that I'd like to show you and it's our bed that we can put up straight like if we want to watch a movie in the evening we can just uh, put up the bed and sit up straight to watch a movie I really like this it's from Ikea um, and it was really easy to install so yeah this is actually kind of our fan. For now we are not we are not living inside the van yet, um, but we did this upgrade so we can start living in it next year because next year we are leaving on a big trip. Uh, we want to see Europe and then maybe the USA, Canada. We yeah. don't know yet what our plans will we'll be. See. <clears throat> but Louis is ready for a big tour and we are too. Thank you for watching. This is our van and um, if you have questions about uh, converting a van you can always check our website uh, www.coordinotes.be um, or you can send us a DM on Instagram um, and we'll try to help you as best as we can. See you! I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams, also 25 video tutorials which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project, but I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.